Hi everyone, welcome to my topic Circuits and Networks. I am Ravikant Malla Joshua and today we are going to deal with single phase AC circuits class 3 especially when a sine solid input voltage is applied to a pure inductor and capacitor how does they behave? So when you apply a sine solid voltage to an inductor or to a capacitor we will be studying about the behavior of these two elements in the name of their phasor representations as well as power representations. So in phasor representation, the voltage will lead current whereas for capacitive network, the current will lead voltage. How this happens? Let us go with inductor first. So when a sine wave applied to a pure inductor, the current flows in through the inductive coil and an EMF which is known as back EMF is induced in it. This EMF at every instant of time opposes the current producing it. So there is a voltage will be developed across this inductor and this at every instant of time will be opposing the current which is producing that voltage. So this is the input voltage we will be giving as input to the inductor coil and the applied voltage has to overcome the back EMF. Therefore, the voltage developed across inductor which will be equivalent to L di by dt. Now this voltage is quite equivalent to the instantaneous value of voltage small v. So when these two are going to get equated, this is what we are going to get. We will get di in terms of Vm by L sine omega t dt. So in order to obtain the instantaneous value of current, we need to integrate this equation on both sides. When you are going to integrate this equation on both sides, we are going to left over with I is equal to Vm by L integration sine omega t dt. So this will give you the value as Vm by L integration of sine is minus cos divided by its inter internal integral that is omega. So this you can rewrite as minus Vm by omega L cos omega t. So this once again with the help of trigonometric equation can be rewritten as Vm by omega L sine omega t minus 90 degrees. Sine omega t minus 90 degrees is minus cos omega t. So this will give you the value of instantaneous current which is equal to im sine omega t minus pi by 2 and this will treat as equation 2. So once we are obtaining the voltage that is the instantaneous value of voltage and the instantaneous value of current, let us understand how the phasor representation as well as the power representation is going to come. One important note we have to keep in our mind while drawing the phasor diagrams, the RMS values are used. So we have Im is equal to Vm by omega L. This Vm by omega L can be rewritten as XL, which is known as inductive reactance. This inductive reactance it is equal to omega L, and omega is known as the angular frequency. It can be changed to normal frequency with this multiple 2 pi F L. So if this is true. The, the value of current which we are going to obtain that in terms of RMS can be written as Im by root 2. If Im by root 2 is going to come, then naturally it is understood that this value will be equal to Vm by root 2 divided by XL, where Vm by XL is nothing but the maximum value of the current which is placed over here. Right? Now, the RMS value of current can be treated as Vl by XL. So in order to draw this, we need we are going to take the help of these two equations. First, we have V is equal to Vm sin omega t. So we are going to take Vn on y-axis. Then you have I is equal to Im sin omega t minus pi by 2. So this value of current, that is this current, is taken on x-axis. And clearly from equation 1 and 2, we can say the current lacks voltage by 90 degrees pi by 2 indicates 90 degrees. So this is how we represent the phasor of pure inductor circuit. Therefore, we can say 
in a pure inductor current lacks voltage by 90 degrees the similarity we can apply in order to derive the power power is equal to v into i where v instantaneous value of v is vm sin omega t i is i m sin omega t minus pi by 2 in order to represent these two waveforms we can represent these two waveforms in this fashion you can see v is the voltage applied to the inductor so it is starting from zero and it is taken one cycle which is 2 pi then the instant value of current is i m sin omega t minus pi by 2 so you can see this has originated at pi by 2 which is lagging by 90 degrees and it is going and it is continuing its path for one cycle so this is how a current and voltage in the name of power can be drawn so we can make use of these values both together in order to obtain the power waveform so how do we do that first let us multiply these values we are going to get sin omega t sin omega t minus pi by 2 so sin omega t minus pi by 2 is minus cos omega t so this value is minus vm im sin omega t cos omega t so i can write sin omega t cos omega t as sin theta cos theta so 2 sin theta cos theta or you can write sin omega t cos omega t as sin 2 omega t whole divided by 2 so this is a trigonometric representation with this we are going to obtain the power diagram or power waveform you can see current and voltage are already taken voltage is red wave current is blue wave the combination of red and blue is going to give you the power waveform you can see from 0 to 90 degrees 0 to 90 degrees the current was negative and voltage was positive therefore power which is the multiplicate of these two values will obtain as negative power so that is why from 0 to 90 degrees the power is negative okay and after 90 degrees the current has taken to the positive axis and voltage is also on the positive axis so naturally we are going to get the added power which is on positive plane and similarly after pi the voltage waveform is going to the negative axis whereas current is still on positive axis but the power value will be on negative axis and at the last stage from this point to this point that is 270 to 2 pi the voltage was negative current is negative so current and voltage both are negative so negative and negative will give you the positive power so this is how we complete the this is how we complete the power equation so when you are going to apply the average power average power from 0 to this is for 2 pi second so you can see current and voltage waveform they have started with 0 and 2 pi whereas power it is multiplied at each and every instant of time with the help of current wave and voltage wave so when you are going to apply the average power with the help of average formula so the time period is from 0 to 2 pi so 1 by 2 pi 0 to 2 pi the value of power instantaneous power you are going to substitute here okay and we have to integrate with respect to d omega t so this will give you the value as 0 this is one cycle this is another cycle but from 0 to pi and pi to 2 pi you can see the average value of power is 0 so this is the main difference between an inductor and a resistor so this is elaborated in this particular waveform negative current positive voltage negative power positive current positive voltage positive power voltage negative current positive power negative current negative voltage negative and power positive so you need not uh, uh, you need not modify or you can you can uh, you need not modify this particular wave equation just go with the flow of the value of voltage and current 
then you can easily determine the power diagram of pure inductor circuit. The same thing we are going to analyze for capacitive network, in fact pure capacitor. So whenever an alternating voltage is applied to a capacitor, it gets charged and as a result an alternating current flows through it. So what happens here? Same voltage reference we are taking instantaneous value of voltage V is equal to Vm sin omega t and we know that charge in terms of capacitance and voltage it is given as Q is equal to Cv. Now V is the instantaneous value of voltage and we know that current is defined as flow of charge that is dq by dt. So dq by dt substitute the value of q over here in the numerator so c dv by dt. This dv by dt we are taking the value of v as vm sin omega t and we are going to replace v value with vm sin omega t then differentiation of sin omega t with respect to dt or with respect to t in fact we talk or omega t we are going to obtain as cos omega t multiplied with omega internal derivative so we are going to get omega c vm cos omega t or you can mathematically replace this equation as omega c vm sin omega t plus pi by 2 okay sin of 90 plus theta is cos theta this value of omega c vm can be replaced by im so we have instantaneous current and voltage whereas the maximum value of current is given as omega c vm i'm going to take vm by im on this side and one by omega c on the other side so this will give you the value as xc where x is known as the capacitive reactance whose value is equal to one by omega c omega is 2 pi f where f is the natural frequency omega is the angular frequency so we have v and i as instantaneous values so with this i'm going to place i which is leading the voltage developed across the capacitor by 90 degrees and let us understand that current leads voltage in the case of pure capacitance under the influence of sinusoidal input so when you are going to calculate the instantaneous power p is equal to v into i substitute the value of v i multiplying these two equations and the waveform of current you can see current was leading in this case so current has already started when voltage is at zero current was at maximum and this waveform is repeated for one cycle and so on it will go on with the multiple cycles so i'm going to multiply these two values i'm going to get vm im sin omega t cos omega t which is nothing but sin of 2 omega t by 2. so again when you are going to take the average power we are going to get the value as zero so for pure inductor and for pure capacitor the average value of power is always zero this can be easily understood with the help of this power waveform. So you can see current was positive, voltage was positive, that's why the power is positive. Then from 90, the voltage is negative, current it is also negative. Therefore, the power, sorry, the current is negative, but the voltage is still positive, that's why the power is negative. And after pi, the voltage goes to zero and it is going for the negative axis. And current is already in the negative axis. So negative of voltage, negative of current will give you the positive of power. And then what happens? Your condition from this point, the current is going to go positive and voltage is still negative that's why the power is negative i hope you understand this waveform please comment in the chat box if at all you have doubts with the waveform representation of power to the capacitor this this particular upper wave is going to get repeated over here and which makes the current to get positive when current is positive voltage is negative actually the power is negative and that's why the 
cycle. You can see for one cycle of voltage involved with current, we got the power again as zero. We are talking about the average power. So what we have learned in our three classes pertaining to sine solar input applied to passive elements, whether it is resistor, inductor, capacitor, when AC is applied to these three passive elements, the same voltage we are applying, that is V is equal to Vm sin omega t. But how does the current behaves? For resistive, for pure resistive, the current and voltage are said to be in phase. Whereas in inductor, the current lacks voltage by 90 degrees. And for capacitor, current links voltage by 90 degrees. So this is the conclusion of sine solar input applied to passive elements, that to pure elements. So this is how the waveform we have obtained. In general, it is this, this case is the case of capacitor. So this is how we have to estimate the power relations and the waveforms and the phasor representation of passive elements under the influence of sine solar input. So this we are treating as class 3. In our future classes, we are going to take the combination of RL, RC, LC and RLC networks and we are going to derive the power waveforms and phasor diagrams for different cases. So I, I hope you like my video. Please share among your friends and please, please, please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.